Halloween is just around the corner, so today I thought we'd have a look at the Pennywise, the dancing clown figure by Necker. I think it's safe to say that most of us do have a fear of clowns and in some way they do creep us out. But back in the early 80s and 90s when I was growing up, the only clown I knew of was Ronald McDonald. And I wasn't particularly scared of him. I actually wanted to meet him when I was going into the restaurant for a happy meal. But unfortunately that never happened. It wasn't until I saw this clown portrayed by Tim Curry in Stephen King's IT TV miniseries in the 90s that I absolutely became terrified of clowns. And it's all because this guy. Now if you were to watch this film in 2022 you probably wouldn't find it that scary, you'd probably find it laughable, but if you were my age and you watched it way back when, it was absolutely terrifying. It really did have an effect on all of us I would say and the portrayal by Tim Curry was absolutely perfect. He really did know how to how to latch onto these characters and bring them alive on the screen. In 2017, the character of Pennywise a Clown graced our cinema screens once again, this time portrayed by Bill Skarsgård. And a couple of years later, a second movie came out to complete the story. Now that version of the film was very good. In fact, it was almost perfect. I really did enjoy part one and part two of those movies. But like I said, this version of Pennywise is the one that haunted my dreams as a child. Bill Skarsgård's version was scurry, but this is the one that truly haunts my memories. This Necker figure came with quite a lot of accessories, but unfortunately I can't find most of them now because I've had it on display for quite some time and I've got a box full of accessories and finding them is like a needle in a haystack. However, I did manage to find three of the variant heads and I'll do a close up on these in a moment for you to have a look at and they are all brilliantly detailed. And here I have the Bill Skarsgård version. I wasn't originally going to show this one on camera because I do believe it is a bootleg figure and I wasn't aware of it at the time when I purchased it. But detail wise, considering it's a bootleg, it isn't too bad. I think when it comes to Neckers, the bootlegs are normally a little bit better than any of the other bootlegs you may find. So happy Halloween, I thought I'd do this video as a little Halloween treat. Before I finish the video, I'll bring the camera closer and we'll get some close up shots of the figures just so you can see how beautiful they really are. Even the bootleg. 